here. Here's a player at TCU working on the routine in the cage. So you're gonna see him first swing of every round. I get in the box, I clean the box. I take possession of the box. I own that box is the mentality you want these guys to have. You see him take a deep breath. Why is the deep breath important? The deep breath is the finish of the thought. When I take a deep breath, Marcus Luttrell, a lone survivor, got a chance to hear him speak to the Arizona State football team. Marcus Luttrell said, in the Navy SEAL, in combat, your brain rushes out of your ears like water. The only thing you go on is instinct and training. Well, here's how we're training the release, right there after three swings, and now we're focusing it back in. And what that deep breath does for you is it allows you to let the brain rush out of your ears like water and go off of instinct and training. Every time as a hitter, please give me 30 seconds to tell me about the tension. Every time as a hitter, when you step into the box, you take your round of five swings, we want you to at the very least take your last breath. There or there or before you get in the box, wherever you take it. You take that last breath, and then you're here, and you're reacting and trusting your trainer. Notre Dame, Mick Aoki, who we heard from yesterday, here's four steps to batting practice that you can work on the mental game. Okay, step number one is you're going to get in and work your routine for hitting. Step two, on this side of the cage, you're going to work your release. We're isolating the release of what you're going to do in red and yellow lights. Here, I'm going to work my routine and get my bunch down. And over here, I'm simply working on taking my breath. As they walk around, again, we want these guys, when they walk with a bat in their hand, to grab the bat with their dominant hand. You can see him practicing a release here. We want this guy to walk up with the bat in his hand. Here, you're going to see the deep breath before he puts down his five points. This guy here, again, working a release. He's going to get his five swings. This guy's going to jump in the cage. When he jumps in the cage, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to take his deep breath. Now, I'm not trying to time every pitch. I want to get one to two quality repetitions on a release. And when I get in the cage, I'm taking my deep breath here. And then I'm getting my round of five. Working out my whole routine there. Now, you thought you were getting a dozen, but today's a big...